Hey guys, welcome to a reading vlog. I feel like it's been a while since I did one here on the channel, although I just finished filming one for Patreon, um, reading Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. I did a like spoilery plus non-spoilery vlog. I mean, it had spoilers, but there's warnings when there is spoilers so people could skip. If you're interested, you could join Patreon to hear more about that. But I thought I would just do a nice autumn vlog this weekend or for the next few days. Um, I've got a few books on the go, a couple more I want to read before the end of October, and I have some like autumn things planned, some hikes and stuff I want to do. So yeah, here's the, th the three books that I'm currently reading, um, the three fiction books at least, plus a bunch of poetry books which just feel so autumnal at this time of year. And I currently have a cup of hot cocoa here which I always have linked in my description. I have the recipe for that. Mine's dairy-free with cashew milk, but you can use any kind of milk or milk alternative at, that you want. Okay, but books. Uh, I'm reading The Picture of Dorian Gray. I started it. Um, I'm doing a kind of like a very, 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 very loose buddy read over on Patreon for this. i am just decided that I'm going to uh, share the classic books that I'm reading and then share some thoughts as I go. So I can't remember how far I am. My bookmark is in chapter four. I might be that far or I might be farther. I started reading it in this book and then I went to uh, a tablet because this book feels like it might just fall apart. So I thought I would finish reading it on my tablet. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot of thoughts here so far. I was, I shared a little bit about this in my live last weekend and people were talking about like how it's a satire and you're not supposed to like characters and I get that. Uh, but I don't think I like satire. I haven't enjoyed any that I've read so far, I think. Um, and I want to like characters. And so like Lord Henry, I don't remember what his last name is, but Lord Henry in here, like I just want to push this guy off a cliff. I really can't stand him. Then I'm also started only on page 15. Uh, the Secret Lives of Sergeant John Wilson. This is a true crime story that took place close to me back in, I think this is 1919, um, 1918. So that's interesting. I read this in high school, rereading it now. It's my book for the Read Your Bookshelf Challenge, the secret prompt, um, a book with the word secret in the title. So I'm not very far yet. have to finish this by the end of the month. And then my current audiobook is The Bullet That Missed, which is book three in the Thursday Murder Club. Uh, yeah. This series is so much fun. I think I'm on chapter 20 so far. Uh, oh no, I did listen to farther than that. Every now and then when I stop my audiobook, I put, move my bookmark to where I'm actually at. So I'm a little farther than chapter 20. Uh, so I enjoy following all these retirees and <laughs> I like seeing how they try to manipulate people. I mean, that's what they're doing. I was going to try to come up with a more positive word, but they really use their like oldness to their advantage and people underestimate them and they like to use that to their advantage. Um, yeah. So we will see where this goes. I don't know if I can say much. We are, they're investigating a, what was she like a news reporter? I think is maybe what her title is that went missing a couple years ago. Um, she, her vehicle went off a cliff and her body was never found. So she was declared dead after a year, but her body was never found. So yeah, I just love hanging out with these old people. It's so much fun. So those are my three books I'm currently reading. I have a couple more that I would ideally like to finish before the end of October. Whether or not I start them in this vlog, I don't know. I don't know where this is going to go, but I'm going to take you with me over the course of the next few days and we'll see what I read and get up to. Oh, but we did get a kitten like a couple days ago, a week ago. Uh, so there's going to be some kitten spam. There definitely was a lot in the Halloween party vlog that I did and there will probably be more in this one.
Okay, so little reading update plus I thought you could officially meet Tolkien. I don't know if his purring is coming through. It's cute. Um, he is a like four-ish month old ragdoll kitten and he's just like the sweetest, snuggliest kitten I've ever had. Right? Um, okay, so reading. I was doing, I was writing a blog post yesterday or um, adding books into a blog post. I did finally got my classics, 50 classics I want to read before I die blog post up. It took me about a year. Um, and while I was coughing and pasting um, descriptions of books in, I was listening to The Bullet That Missed. And I got to, I think, chapter 38 now, which is pretty much exactly halfway through the book, it looks like. And I'm just loving the story like I have with the entire series. Joyce, her diary entries, they're the best. Like, he writes old ladies so well. Um, oh, my screen makes a buzzing sound. I gotta turn that off. I don't know if like a middle-aged man should be as good at writing old ladies as he is, but he really is. Um, I don't want to give spoilers, but I think there's supposed to be different narrators for this book according to what I saw, but the feet, because there is a male doing some of it, um, but the female sounds the same. So I need to look into that again. Uh, yeah, just thoroughly enjoying the mystery. I have like some suspicions, some things I'd kind of like to happen, but kind of wouldn't like to happen. I am buddy reading it with Sam from, I always forget her channel name, the book bunch, the bunch, something, something with book and bunch. That's all I ever remember. Um, yeah, but I'm a terrible buddy reader. Uh, that's why I don't usually agree to buddy reads because, first of all, I forgot that she wanted to buddy read it and I was ready 20 chapters in. And then I was like, yeah, it'll take me a while to read it. And then I read the other half of the book. Um, so terrible buddy reader for sure, but enjoying the book a lot. I don't wanna say any of my suspicions in case I'm right. There's one character in the book though that I, I can say this, I think. He's in all three of the books. He is well, supposed to be this, um, he's supposed to be losing his memory, really is what he's doing. I don't know what to say. And I just, I think it would be cool if he ended up being like some kind of spy or something, because the woman he's married to used to be a spy and she's sad because he's losing his mind, which, or like, yeah, he's obviously getting dementia or Alzheimer's or something. I think it would be kind of cool if it turned out that he was faking this whole time and he was a spy and was doing things. Um, I don't I don't actually think that's where it's going to go and I don't really want it to go there because I like him. I don't want him to be like the bad guy, but I think that would be a cool twist. Um, and then I also am reading The Picture of Dorian Gray. I am reading it on my tablet. I have like this old Amazon Fire that the kids used for a while that I stole for an e-reader. I'm 35% of the way through, which I think is, oh, the cat got dirt on me. Part way through chapter five or six. Oh, I'm like almost done chapter six, it looks like. I don't have a whole lot to report. Um, I know there's something to do with his portrait at some point and his portrait does the aging and he doesn't, but I thought it would have been, like that's the part that I know about the book. I thought it would be sooner than this far. So I'm gonna keep doing some reading and I will do another update in a bit. I guess right now though I have my Patreon book club that I need to set up for and I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite books from the month there and hopefully get a bunch of book recommendations from everybody else. So I did a bit more reading. I want to kind of close this up with 
the last few things that I read. Um, one thing I finished yesterday is the picture of Dorian Gray. Oh, this... My computer makes a really loud... My monitor makes a really loud noise. High-pitched, really annoying sound when it's sleeping. Um, picture of Dorian Gray. I finished it yesterday and I'm definitely still processing my thoughts. I need to hop on over to my Patreon and share more thoughts yet. But overall, I didn't hate it as much as I thought. It was actually quite a bit different than what I thought. The thing that I know about it, which you can tell from this cover, really only happens halfway through the book. That's when things start, that part starts happening. Um, and I mean, things that happen at the beginning affect that. It's made me think a lot about how the friends that you have can change your life a lot. And I've thought about that before. I know people where I thought they would turn out this one way. Uh, like two guys in particular I can think of. I thought each of them would turn out a certain way, but then because of the women that they married, they went completely different ways than I thought. And that's kind of what this makes me think of. Like your friends can really change the course of your life. Um, so there was that one. I think well, this was on my classics list, my 50 classics I want to read before I die. And I've read more than my goal of seven so far this year. This was either eight or nine. Um, but most of them, them have been my short ones off the list. Then for Karina's nostalgic, I can't remember what she's calling it. She's having a readathon this week. It started yesterday, so I read this yesterday. Um, she is doing just like a nostalgic readathon for her birthday week. And so I wanted to reread some Sherlock Holmes. So um, I was reading short stories from The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes because that was the first one I read. And so it's been the longest since I've read it. Um, so that's what I was reading yesterday. And it just reminded me how much I enjoy Sherlock. Like this, these are my favorite books, especially the short stories. Um, this is a complete collection, but I never talk about it because I've read them all. Whereas Agatha Christie, I really do enjoy Agatha Christie as well, um, but there's so many of her books as opposed to Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's books that I talk about her books all the time because I'm still reading some of them for the first time. Whereas I read all of these before I even joined booktube, so I don't talk about them as much. Um, so nostalgic. I wanted to reread one of my favorites and that's what I did. Um, I might also reread A Little Princess, although I'm not sure she's only doing the readathon for the one week, so I'm not sure I will read it this week, um, but it's a possibility. Then I did more of The Bullet That Missed, so I actually sat down and physically read some of this as well, and I can't tell which one I like better. I love the narrators. Um, and I love the humor. The advantage that reading the book has is that I can reread scenes or lines that I really enjoy. So I start, started like tabbing a couple that jumped out at me because I could. Whereas audiobooks, when I listen to audiobooks, I'm either driving or like making supper or doing something where I'm really busy so I can't just like write a quote down or even bookmark it in the audio app or anything like that. Um, but I'm, I can be an overthinker like a lot of people and there is a scene, <laughs> oh, this cracks me up so much. There's a scene where Ron is going to go have a massage, a couple's massage. Um, and he's terrified and overthinking all the things. And I'm going to read this paragraph to you because I feel like, first of all, this is kind of how I feel about massages in general. Like I like them, but I can definitely overthink them. And it's how I think about a lot of life too, just thinking of all the scenarios. So um, she tells him he can relax and there's nothing to be worried about. Nothing to worry about? What if his towel slips? What if he's too heavy for the massage table? What if the masseur is a woman? What then? Or even worse, what if the masseur is a man? What will they make of his naked body? Do you keep the towel on? Do you have to turn over? Ron has seen himself in the mirror and wouldn't wish that on anyone. Will he have to make conversation? What do masseurs talk about? Can you talk about football? Or is it all essential oils and wind chimes? As he feels the seaweed and burned umber face mask melt into his skin, Ron prays for his torture to end. Are the gentle sounds of rainforest ever going to stop? So, I appreciated that I could like 
bookmark this because I know there's been lines that I've loved, but because I'm listening to, to the audiobook, it's like it's there and then it's gone. And so I think the next time, whenever I want to reread these, I think I'm going to sit down and physically reread them and like highlight and annotate all the things. Um, yeah, so I'm, where am I in here? I think I left off on page 59. I was doing it while I was puzzling a bit last night. So the last thing I did was listen to the book. So I listened to it and then I read it and then I listened to it and then I read it and then I listened to it again. Uh, yeah, still thoroughly enjoying this. So that will be all for this reading vlog. I plan on doing another one in a couple weeks because we'll be setting up our Christmas tree and I think that will be a fun one whenever we decide to do that. Um, that will be a fun time to vlog. So that will probably be my next loud vehicles every time. That will probably be my next actual vlog. Um, yeah, and then we're heading into uh, December, which is like vlogmas slash bookmas. So if you guys have ideas, like I have so many, but if you have ideas for videos you would like to see, I'll be posting a video a day from December 1st to the 24th. Give me ideas and I'm just going to pick whichever ones I feel like I'm in the mood for at the time. So thanks so much for hanging out with me.